So, if God is one and has no separate parts, so how can our souls be a part of Hashem? Are our souls a piece of Hashem or the creation of Hashem? Great. Wonderful question. Um, I wanted to answer from one direction and then when I finish thinking about it, thank God, God for being able to think fast, Hashem helped me to understand that I have evidence proof to the other side also. And we can answer to both sides because we're not here to we're not claiming to be able to answer all of those deep questions till the end. Let's talk about it a little bit and we'll see. First of all, we know that it is written that HaKadosh Baruch Hu, He created our soul. He created. The soul that you gave me. So He also gave it, so it was created before. And also, you made it, you, you, you created it. So we have both of the options in the same sentence. We're saying, you gave it to me. So it was there before. That's the first one. And the second part is saying to you, I created it. And I so you gave me what that you created. Or we are we're part of you, like we learned and we saw in a lot of places. So you have both. So... I think that, like a uh, 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 sculpture, sculpture, he he made that vessel. He made that 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 thing that he created now. But it was already there before in the piece of wood in that stone already. So, I think that God, the Creator, he made both of the things. First of all. He is the soul itself. He is the sea of souls. He is the source of souls. He is the big soul, the one, the unity. He is one. But He designed us to be something else as individuals. So He made us to be who that we are now as individuals after that He separated us from the source, from being one with Him. So it, it's both. He, we are also part of Him from heaven, and also He made us to be who that we are, that we're going to be able to function like that. So, I'm usually explaining the, um, that concept in a way that God just put us in a certain body, in a certain physical body. And because the, the bodies are different, the vessels are different, so each and every one of us are different, but it's also from the side of the soul. Also the souls are different. Also the souls are coming from a different place. And it's very hard to explain why it's hard to explain. Because like we said now, the souls are coming from infinity. So if it's coming from infinity, in infinity you don't have no change. It's all one. So how can it be that the souls are different? So based on what that we explain, explained before. The Creator, He first made the soul of Adam Rishon. And from that pattern, from that figure of a human being of Adam Rishon, he, that's the, the, the first separation, that's the first dividing that He split us from Him. But that soul also divided. And it's been divided to all of the rest of the souls. So. And this is why there are differences between the souls. Because before of Adam Arishon, there was only unity. And Adam received everything from God. Now after that Adam been divided, the soul of Adam, so every one of us came from another organ, from another part of Adam Arishon. One is coming from the brain, one is coming from the nose, one is coming from the heart, one is coming from the hands, one is coming from the heel. So, and also in the heel you have so many differences because it's, it's very deep and, and complex. So, God He made us and like like that even though that he divided like we can see if you take one cup of water from the sea 
it's going to be very different from the sea. But also, if you're going to investigate, you can see all of the sea inside of that inside of that cup of water. If you're going to look on the eye of the person, it's very different than the person. It's a lot less complex than the rest of the body. The body, all of the body contains a lot more, but if you know how to look, you're going to see everything inside the eye. You can see everything in the fingerprint, in, in, the, in the palm of your hand, in the face, in the, in the ear, in the, in the foot. Uh, you, you, you can see everything in, in one cell. And the DNA contains everything, all of the detail of, uh, in one cell. And, and so you see that the, that the infinity, that the spirituality reflects itself, show, expose itself inside the physical body. And each and every one of us have to also learn on his individuality, on his, uh, in what that is special and, and unique in. And also to remember the unity and to remember that he's coming from one, one place, from one God above us.